What's the deal, Dre? Dre. Or what's the deal, Mel? Or should I say, Melissa, man, I hope you're both doing well. Uh -huh. This is Gamble, or should I say, Surge? Just to show you that I love you, even though we get, get on each other's nerves. But that's family, right? right? Let's keep this family tight. I'm still writing day and night. Yeah, you know what I'm like. I'm still on the mic, mic but not on the hype. The storyline is our time, man. My future's looking bright, and it's looking like. This goes out to all my soldiers, all my real people out there, there for me through thick and thin, you know. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate for everything that you bring. Uh -huh. uh. 36 degrees in London. Ladesmore picked the hottest day of the year to hold their Value Life March and Rally. For Juliet Coney, who's worked on the Value Life campaign for the last three years, it's now time to forget the trials and tribulations of the last few months. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling very, very good, very positive. Um, the day's about the kids now, really um, having some fun, making their point heard. There is still a lot of work to be done before the children arrive at nine o'clock. <laughs> Today's event came out of the school's citizenship curriculum. The school has chosen to make a stand against the rising knife and gun crime and call for a mandatory sentence for carrying a knife. We've got to make a stand against it because so many people are getting hurt and dying because of it. Um, and they've got to realise that it's not a solution, you know, taking someone's life, it just makes another problem. It's been a long road for citizenship coordinator, Lee Carroll, to get to this point. It's upon us. We should have small, OK? This is a small in here. I need two people on small. One, two on small. At the moment, we seem to be in good shape, so not stressed, um, feeling quite positive. I'll be feeling a sense of pride, but also I'll be, um, it'll be twi tinged with a certain amount of sadness that we actually have to do this campaign. It's a sentiment that is echoed by all the children on the march today. It means a lot that I'm doing something like to prevent people from dying. It's the years to come when they feel that they were part of something or part of a movement or part of a change. The Metropolitan Police Trident bags have just arrived and a few early risers are on hand to pack the marchers' survival kit. Even though the Met bags arrived at the last minute, the dog tags from America still haven't shown up yet. But we're expecting them to die. So we should still get them. As the marchers start to arrive, school council members make last minute calls to get pupils still in bed, out of bed and on the march. Hello, my name is Dean Uber from Gaysman Community School. And I just want to inform your child if you want to come to Hello, my name is Dean from Glazman Community School. And I just want to inform your child, Annika. Today is today. I'm like, I'm so excited. Now. So now on the march to prove and to help. The gun, the gun and that can sentence go up to two years, a minimum. Most people think, oh, if you go down the road shouting, you're going to be some kind of lunatic, but we're a lunatic for a cause. Can you tie it around your wrist? If it goes, that's it, mate. As the numbers grow, excitement fills tie the air. Tie around your wrist. No, you can't do it. Showing their support for the campaign, all head teachers from Haringey schools had their handprints and signatures on the T-shirts. You feel quite proud that you're actually doing something to help, and it, you do enjoy it. I hope they'll respect what we're Organizing saying. Organising a march through three of the busiest streets in North London is a logistical nightmare. The police, stewards, and other emergency agencies are being managed by Colin Goodfellow. Like all the other teachers, the nuts and bolts don't stop Colin from seeing the bigger picture. We'd love to be up outside the Houses of Parliament this morning, but I think it's our local community initially that we need to work with. True to their word, the celebrities that promise to be here arrive on time. Angie Lamar, star of the BBC's Grumpy Old Women. The crime that's happening on the street gets a lot of profile. The kids that are doing well and doing fantastic positive things never seem to get any kind of publicity. That's why I'm here. 
and Martin Jay from Choice FM kickstart the march with a few rousing words. Glazemore has got it going on. It's happening all over the place. We know it's an epidemic. Let's go on the street. Let's make some noise. Let's find your life. It's 10 o'clock and everything is in place. The teachers and pupils' hard work has paid off. A 300 strong march set off. The big question is how many more can they pick up on the way? Ten minutes into the march, and the marchers realise they're drawing a lot of attention to themselves. For the children on the march, some as young as 10, a sense of nervousness falls on them as they approach West Green Road. This is one of the gun and knife hotspots of Haringey, but the bravery the children demonstrate is soon repaid by the cheers of encouragement they receive from onlookers. Value Life is a student-based initiative. It started with nine students deciding to tackle an issue they felt was affecting their community and their quality of life. The logistics of keeping 300 excited children plus stragglers away from bus lanes and oncoming traffic is proving to be a challenge. The stewards have to stop the march every so often so that the slower marchers can keep up. I, went, I didn't know this was coming through here, but yeah, I think it's very positive. Okay. If yeah. you'd known, you think you'd have joined in? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think it's good. Okay. So what do you think about the state of gun and knife crime in our community? I think it's disgusting to be honest, you know. And I think it's good that the younger generations are standing up because they're the future, isn't it? When we want it! Now! What do we want? No more guns! When we want it! Now! Here, Anne, keep them nice and slow at the front. I'm ashamed of myself for not knowing about the demonstration today, but congratulations to them, and, and we support them totally. Indeed, those who set off at the start of the march can be identified by their white T-shirts. 20 minutes into the march, the total has swelled by at least 100 people. Very nice, no more guns, no more knives, no more knives, live good and we all live. Good, it's good girl, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, good. 
Very good. Very good. This is very much in support. Thank you. Thank you. Very much in support. <laughs> we got kids. I got kids. I wouldn't like to carry a knife around. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to give a life, is it? But it takes a second to take one. <laughs> Two years, not enough. It's alright, I said the music hasn't turned up. The guy with the band, that would have made it better. I think it's really good that the children are doing something and they are aware that they know good and bad. And that they are proud of it. I think yeah, more people are actually coming out of the shops and actually looking. Yeah, yeah. some people are making a noise, people are hearing. Yeah, some people are blazing their horns yeah. as well, so it's more like, it's raising more when the, the public is joining in on the, um, the, um, like, the chanting, and it's, it's really exciting at the moment, and they're joining the march. No more guns! No! No more guns! It's all right because you got gun crime in this area every single every single day basically because just only yesterday here in seven sisters a boy got killed by a gun yesterday i almost got i almost got stabbed by a knife because because of my phone i was having people was kind of the boys was, was like give me your give me and give me your phone give me your phone and i ran off and they were they chased me although i reported it to the police they're still investigating that Halfway through the march, everyone that comes into contact with them gets involved. Suddenly, the march gets an injection when Lucy Cope's voice can be heard, egging them on. The marchers have now entered Wood Green High Road, one of the busiest shopping areas in North London, and this is where Value Life 3 can really make an impact. He has a mission that was given to them by the Lord But they lack the vision and they lack the faith Cause they fear there's too much competition So instead of going after it, they sit down reminiscing Wishing they could be the ones that's making all the difference in this world Cause they know they can't depend on politicians Imagine you could be the one that's making the decision Would you listen to the people or be a contradiction? Would you stay with tradition or go make a difference? Would you state your religion and say you're a Christian? Would you act like a saint or try be saying you ain't? Or would you represent yourself? In every picture that you paint, would you follow your beliefs or keep your faith and restraint? Or would you go on your knees and show the people you ain't afraid to show that Jesus is the Christ from the darkness, He's the light, He's the reason you have sight? So, what's your purpose? What's the reason why you here? Why you here? What's the reason that you're breathing? Why you here? What's the meaning when you're dreaming and believing that you're breathing for a reason, but the reason is a clear? What's your purpose? What's the reason why you here? Why you here? Believing that you're breathing for a reason, but the reason isn't clear.
I feel really proud of the students, very, very proud in fact. And just seeing them, I mean, obviously walking a long distance, you've got peaks and you've got troughs and you know, they were obviously when they first started off, it was yeah, and as, as, it, as, it's, as it's slowly going down, the heat and they're getting tired, it goes down and it goes up again. And when it got to Woodbury and High Road and all the people in the High Road cheering them along and supporting them along and really encouraging them, then they went right back up again. If you're not there yet, because the road to success takes a lot of sacrifices and hard dedication, got to be prepared for the trials and tribulations. After a long two hour march on the hottest day of the year, the marchers finally arrive at the Dominion Centre for the rally. <laughs> we got dog tags. <laughs> Paid. Would they even really matter? Would anyone really care? Would they even be aware or even shed a tear? Imagine you were never born, that's like clothes never worn, footsteps never taken, dreams never formed, hearts never broken, words never spoken. Man, keep your eyes open by the Lord, you were chosen to leave your mark on this earth. Your heart is a curse if it tells you you won't ever amount to nothing on earth. Ain't nothing worse than a hypocrite that talks, but his actions reverse. I think first, what does it matter if I fail? a couple times then get back up on my feet and carry on writing rhymes starland it's our time man this is the dream to bring the truth to the world because it ain't what it seems from a lady to my left, Juliet. I couldn't speak back to anybody because I had various tubes and whatever in my throat. I couldn't answer back to anybody. I could answer the emails. I had a letter from Luke. Is Luke here? Luke, can you stand up, please? Because your letter's very important to me. in this room who took part in Value Lab 1 and 2 and now Value Lab 3 have already began to save and have saved lives and please believe me you have. No gun is any good, no knife is any good. Please well I'm proud of you and honour to be part of Value Lab 3. Thank you. What's the reason why you here? What's the reason that you're breathing? Why you here? What's the meaning when you're dreaming and believing that you're breathing for a reason, but the reason isn't clear? What's your purpose? What's the reason why you here? Why you here? What's the reason that you're breathing? Why you here? What's the meaning when you're dreaming and believing that you're breathing for a reason, but the reason isn't clear? Everybody has a mission. Everybody has a mission that was given to them by the Lord, but they lack the vision and they lack the faith. Cause they fear there's too much competition So instead of going after it They sit down reminiscing Wishing they could be the ones That's making all the difference in this world Cause they know they can't depend on politicians Imagine you could be the one That's making the decision 
contradiction would you listen to the people uh-huh. or be a contradiction would you stay with tradition or go make a difference would you state your religion and say you're a christian would you act like a saint or try be something you ain't or would you represent yourself in every picture that you paint would you follow your beliefs or keep your faith in restraint or would you go on your knees and show the people you